Now, here what we're going to do is, so what we want to do is we want to try and figure out the energy or the wavelength of an atom that falls from level 2 to level 1. Wait a second. Electron level n equals 1 to n equals level 2. All well, the energy level required. Yeah, so it's endothermic. It's going in. I like to do E1 and E2. Okay. Now, E1, if you go back, I always forget this number, is negative 2.178. Actually, you don't really need a negative sign because you're going to make a change. You'll see. Yeah. Um, times 10 to minus 18. Now, this works with hydrogen, so the mm -hmm. Z is 1. So that's 1, one squared, squared over... Now, this 1 here represents N Energy equal level. to 1, yep. so that'll be 1 squared. Work. So I don't even need a calculator. No. 2.178 I don't even need a calculator. times 10 to the minus 18, and that's joules. And I need a calculator. The second one, you're going to say equal to 2.178 times 10 to the minus 18 times... 1 squared, still hydrogen, over now 2 squared, because now we're at level 2. So basically, we'll divide that number by 4, four. and that is what? 5.445 times 10 to the negative 19. Now, what you're really trying to find is the, the change, or the delta E, which means I'm going to take this first number and subtract this second number, mm -hmm. and what do you get when you subtract the two? 1.6335 times 10 to the negative 18. And that is the energy of the electron falling. Or actually, no, we're actually going the other direction. Yeah, From n up. equal to 1, when he then reappears at the higher energy level of n equal to 2. And the question is, how much energy do you need to add to him to get him to bump up to the next level? Yes. Um, and that's, that's the energy. So now, it I think the question asks for, asks the wavelength. for the wavelength. Now, here's some equations we need to make sure we know. And I don't think we, we've written no, these down No, we give yet. you the, we give you one earlier. We give but you, let's uh, write them all down right here. Lambda nu equals C. E equals H, H nu. times nu, and that's the w frequency, mm -hmm. right? And nu is equal. Oops, I didn't. Nu is equal to C over lambda. Mm -hmm. Or this is a redone of we said lambda nu equals c. Right. Now, if I plug in this right here, I can also say e is equal to h c over lambda. Yeah. Now, there's a letter there. We don't know what it is. What's h. H. Planck's constant. Remember Max Planck? Mr. Max says Planck. Planck's constant. It is 6.626 yep. times, times 10, 10 to the minus 34, 34 joules seconds. Yep. It's a very, that's a small number. That's a very small number. That's an itty bitty number. But so, the speed of light is a big number. Well, we know the energy. Guess what? So we what's do. that? That's equal to E. Mm -hmm. So if I want to find the wavelength, plug right, jug, do a little I'm algebra. going to use this equation right here. So I'm going to say E is equal to HC over lambda. Mm -hmm. Now if I solve for lambda. lambda, I can cross multiply, right? So I can say E lambda equals HC. Mm -hmm. Or if I want to get lambda by itself, it would be HC over E. There it is. Plug and jug. So that'll be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 times the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th, divided by my energy, which was 1.63 times 10 to the minus 18th. And I get 1.22 times 10 to the negative 7. And that unit would be, I didn't use my units here. The wavelength yeah. is measured in meters. So that would be meters. Now while we're at that, oftentimes um, we like to, I don't know if I have a blank screen yet. No, I don't. I, I, let me use the bottom of this. Um, if I have, what was it, 1 point? 1 point 1.22 times 10 to the negative 7. 1 7th. 1.22 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. meters. Often we'll see this in nanometers. That 1 meter is equal to 1 times 10 to the 9th, or billion mm -hmm. nanometers. And I don't need a calculator on that. That becomes a 122 nanometers. Okay, you just multiply, move the decimal over yeah. nine places. And since this was 10 to the minus 7th, then you, yeah, trust me, it, it's that. Okay. So this cool equation that we just did, which you may not think is so cool, but this cool oh, equation, cool. Mr. Bohr was so excited. It predicted everything about the hydrogen atom, and everybody was you know, arms about how wonderful Amazed. it was. However, didn't you win a Nobel Prize for that? I believe so. Um, but guess what? It only works. It only works for the hydrogen. Yeah. Because you see, what happens was is, is, is what happens when this equation becomes when z becomes two. Well, then you say, well, it's just four, two squares, four. It'd be right. It'd be mm -hmm. easy, right? Yeah, sure. But the problem with the hydrogen atom is this. Or the problem with non-hydrogen atoms. Of course, atoms have a central dense nucleus. Mm -hmm. So let's just take a helium atom. 
the second most simple element there is. Yeah. Two, four. He has four, two. Uh, four, two whatever, yeah. four and two. He's got two protons and he's got two electrons. And two neutrons, by the way, in the middle. Yeah. So if you were to think of it, you get the central dense nucleus and you get an electron here and an electron here, way out here. This is an atom. What he had not accounted for, what happens if you have an electron and he gets near like another electron? They repel each other. You see, um, and that's the problem. You see, when you had a nucleus, one, one proton and one electron, the only thing you had was attraction between the proton and the electron. That's the hydrogen atom. But when you have the two electrons, you now have repulsive forces that push these guys apart. And that messed everything up. So it doesn't work. And that's, that's just with helium. If you take like uranium with 92 protons yeah. and 92 electrons, Whole another ball it's line. all screwed up. Okay. All right. So that gives us a quick introduction to podcast 7.1. And so what we want to do is just give you an idea. Next time, we're going to talk about things called quantum mechanics. Oh, yes. My goggles. You took my quantum goggles. Quantum mechanics. Oh, yes. So then we can learn how to do quantum leaps. Yes. We can leap into the next dimension. Yes. With our lightsabers. And I could become Luke Einstein. And then maybe I mean, whatever you'll be like my uncle and I won't, or I don't know. You're way too young to be my uncle. I know. I think I need to be the uncle because I'm older than you. Yeah. I like a lot. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. We will catch I wanted you. to wear the mask. I wanted to wear the cool glasses because yeah. I can see psychedelic colors. He doesn't get to see that. What?